So YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And I didn't even realize we were just 50 days away until the start of football season. It seemed like it's like so close, which it is super close. It's like right around the corner. Um, this is the, even though we kind of did get some football, well, not even this month, uh, because this month was the break, but we're getting football late this month. And it actually started yesterday because training camp started. But this is the very last month with, uh, no football games because the preseason, it starts in August. It starts, I believe, the second week of August since we have just three preseason games. But training camp for rookies, it started yesterday, or at least for the Ravens rookies. But not all of them could participate because not all of them had been signed yesterday. That was all up until Ben Cleveland. He signed his deal yesterday, and Brandon Stevens, he signed his today. Uh, so now it's official that the Ravens have their entire rookie draft class on the books, signed, pen to paper, they're official. And they can now go full go in training camp. They can go all the way. And this is going to be a very interesting training camp because these rookies are going to be part of some battles, uh, part of some positional battles that are really in my opinion, not up for, I, I mean, not set in stone. They're up for grabs. You think about Rashad Bateman. What's his role going to be? And you know he's going to have a significant role. Because, in, again, my opinion, uh, that I think Greg Roman is maybe not on the hottest of the hot seats, but the pressure is certainly on. Eric DaCosta is like, hey, Greg, Martin, and Williams brought them boys on for a reason. Rashad Bateman, Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins is familiar with your system. Hey, we got an offseason this year. You can implement all this different type of stuff. Tylen Wallace, bringing him on too. I'm, I'm giving you 80 tight ends to work with. So I, I really just think that they're not that Greg Roman is on the hottest of hot seats, but the pressure is certainly on. It's certainly on. Uh, and then you look at uh, on the defensive side of the ball, you look at Adafi away and you think, OK, well, what's his role going to be and how significant is his role going to be as well? Because, of course, Tyus Bowser, he's looking he's going to be one of your starters and Pernell McPhee, uh, he's going to have a significant role. But how is Adafi away going to fit in as well? Is he going to be in every down outside linebacker? Is he going to start off as a situation? What's going to happen with him? Again, it's not set in stone. Then you think about uh, Ben Cleveland. Ben Cleveland, uh, the, the guard spot is up for grabs. That left guard spot is up for grabs. We don't know if that's going to be Ben Cleveland, Ben Powers, Ben Bredesen, or somebody else. It's up for grabs. So, again, the more the merrier. I mean, it's nice to have options. It's a beautiful thing to have options. Um, and then uh, Dalen Hayes, again, same conversation as Adafi away. Brandon Stevens, what's his role going to be? We know he's definitely going to be on special teams. I ain't got no doubt about that. But what's his role going to be as far as the backup safety rotation? Where is he going to fit in there? Because there's pressure. Because you got Anthony Levine. Uh, you have Jordan Richards. Uh, you have... How's the undrafted rookie out there? It's Washington. How's he looking? How's it going to be? So, again, nothing set in stone. Geno Stone. Speaking of nothing set in stone, Geno Stone. They signed him to a one-year deal, too. So, it's a lot going on there. Ben Mason, who I think is a, uh, a possible big candidate for... Uh, that, you know, them random injuries that happen where they just put, they got to put somebody on injury reserve where Ravens do the stash move. I think Ben Mason is a candidate, a candidate for that this year. Um, but you have him uh, as fullback slash tight end. Uh, as, as far as fullbacks, you obviously got Patrick Ricard, but as far as tight ends, you Ravens have about 33 tight ends on the roster right now. So there's that too. Um, so these guys, and then Tylen Wallace, think of Tylen Wallace, it's already enough, not even necessarily confusion, but it's already a, enough, just what's Rashad Bateman's role going to be, but then you went and double dipped and you got another receiver with Tylen Wallace, 
How's he going to fit in the mix? How's he going to be used? What's he going to be used for? Is he going to be used? It's just a lot of question marks because, again, the Ravens receiver room is very crowded. It's very crowded. So the competition is, is, is going to be a beautiful thing, man. And I'm, I'm happy for it and I'm excited for it because it's just it's going to make them that much better. So we'll see how everything uh, plays itself out. But I'm just I'm very glad that the Ravens are in the situation that they're in. Uh, I'm very glad that all the draft picks are signed because this, again, makes it official. Um, and now with training camp being here, we, we're almost there. We just be super, 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 super close. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, but this is the first step in the right direction. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I see you all uh, later on today. We out.